channel now in the last video i am doing uh, uh, the smart brain math puzzles the with the three puzzles so in now uh, today video we are going to do uh, the grade 9 uh, lesson so that's the lesson the angles related to the straight lines and parallel lines so now what are the angles now you uh, learned in the grade 6 7 8 what are the angles now in the grade 9 also we learn about the more knowledge with the angles now let's recall some uh, angles now you know this one is straight angle and this one is acute angle and this one we call as obtuse angle and this one we call as right angle they are the 90 degrees they are 180 degrees they are less than 90 degrees they are greater than 90 degrees the magnitude they have so and uh, after we learn about the reflex angle that's been the greater than 180 degrees so straight angle acute angle obtuse angle right angle and now this is reflex angle now these five types of angles we learn in the grade 6 7 8 and now in the grade 9 we learn about the very uh, constitutional angles now uh, let's see learn about what are they now you in the grade uh, 8 you uh, learn about the complementary angles and supplementary angles adjacent angles and vertically opposite angles what are they now let's uh, conclude in the complementary complementary means 90 degrees that's mean when two angles adding with the values and from the value with 90 that's mean called the complementary angles. So let's we get this one is 50 and this angle is 40. So 50 plus 40 90. So this is the complementary angles. Now let's see move to the supplementary angles. Supplementary means 180. 180 means the two angles with the values of that adding 180 is called the supplementary. That's mean so we get uh, this 120 plus this 60. If these two angles the values add and comes 180 degrees that's the supplementary angle so and nextly uh, we want to learn about what are the adjacent angles and vertically opposite angles so you learn the complementary supplementary angles at parsley now in the grade 9 this is a revision about that that parsley you learn so now let's move on the adjacent angles so what are the adjacent mean adjacent mean two pairs that's mean so the two angles combined by this so this one is a this one is b so a plus b equal the whole angle is c this is the equation of adjacent, adjacent angle and these are the adjacent angles so we get a o e B. That means A O E angle equal to B O E angle. This is the whole adjacent angle. The two pairs of angles join with each other is called the adjacent angles. Now let's we revise the vertically opposite angles. Now you know the vertically opposite angles mean you have a single pair of angle with 70 degrees. Okay. Now you uh, have a wall figure like this. Okay. And now this called A. And the ask the question find the value of A. Very easily we can find the 70 and this one 
is same to this side. Okay. And now they are vertically oppositely meet. The two vertex, the two vertex meet each other at the same point is called as vertically opposite angle. And now this side is 70 and there are two vertex are meet at the each that the at point and the other side also same. So that means A equals 70 degrees. Very easily we can find the vertically opposite angles. Now let's given like this. 30 B. Find the value of B. We can easily say there are two vertex are meet at the same point. And that's been the 30 degrees is the this side. So the other side is also 30 degrees. So B equal 30 degrees. So this is the vertically opposite angle. So we learn at firstly the straight angles at the grade 6 and 7 we learn the straight angle, right angle, acute angle, obtuse angle and reflex angle. And now fast we go on to the grade 8 we learn about adjacent angle, vertically opposite angle, complementary, supplementary angles. And now we learned about one thing on the grade 8, what? Parallel lines. Now, parallel lines mean the two lines gone straight. Parallel lines mean this line is called A, B. A, B line. Okay. Passes the true again at the same point C, D line. So that means A, B equal C, D. Because these two lines gone the parallelly, the same angle, the same place, the two lines are gone. And now we say A, B equals E, D. Is this correct? Now we have a sign. Okay. Now so we have to learn the A, B, this line. We want to add. If you are asking a question, is this parallel? And you write A, B equals A, D. No. No marks you have. You want to do this. This sign. You learned about that. This sign you want to add. We have lines A, B and E, F. That means A, B equals E, F. This sign is also known as parallel to. This sign is called parallel to. This sign name is parallel to some line. A, B is parallel to C, D. A, B is parallel to E, F. So, okay. So, that's the revision of this angles that you learned about in the previous. And now, now you are in a upwards okay so now uh, let's do the review exercise of this in the next video i am going to do this review exercise okay so now uh, i am doing only the lesson the syllabus only i am going to do in this video i am going to do only the syllabus so the exercises will be uh, coming to the uh, next video so review exercise the Next, the next video is review exercise on this lesson. Okay. Now let's see move to the grade 9. The main one. The main part. Angles related to the straight lines. Okay. Now we have a straight line like this. And they have a point and we call this line AB. And now you know the straight line there is 180 degrees. The straight line. Okay. Now in this grade 9, we are going to learn the angles that related to the straight lines. Okay. Now let's see move for the, the textbook. Now this point we call as O. So that means this whole angle we call A, O, B. And we want to add this angle side. You learned in that grade 8. We want to add this sign that belongs to the vertex point. The vertex point come for the middle and the other two 
Hands comes to the, the left hand and right hand and keep this angle side. You can write also like this. BOA. Not to have any problem. You can write it opposite side then. But you want to keep the vertex O in the middle of the any angle. Okay. Let's see move for the, the angles related to the straight line. Now you have a straight line like this. And that one is adjacent to this straight line now. What's this called? Adjacent angle. Now a one pair. And again the second pair. This is an adjacent. Uh, two adjacent angles they have one. This is the angles related to the straight line. Now this angle is called A. This angle is called B. And these are the points. Okay. This AE line is connected with OF line with two angles AB. So now what's this angle the magnitude the magnitude is 180 degrees that means a plus b equal 180 degrees this is the equation the main equation of this straight lines the angles related to the straight lines the main theory the main theorem of this angles related to the straight line is a plus b equals 180 degrees that's the main point in this angle related to the straight lines. And now let's we want to get some examples from this. Okay. Now, if you have uh, two pairs of angles like this A, B, now that's mean A plus B equals 180. Now you have like this. How many pairs they have? Now they are A, this B, C and this B. Now you have a problem. Huh? They have four pairs. Now the two pairs A plus B equal 180. Now they have A, B, C, D. No, not at a problem. This is a straight line. This is a straight angle. So A plus B plus C plus B equal 180. Now you like have this A, B, C. This straight line called as 180 degrees. You want to keep it up in your mind. Okay, this line is called as the 180 degrees. And you have 10 pairs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay. They have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. You don't think so. You want to get A plus B plus C plus D plus E plus F plus G equal 180. Because this straight line means 180. You want to keep it up in the mind. This straight line is called as 180. And you have 10 pairs, 20 pairs. That's uh, none of your mind that... Uh, you want to keep, oh, it's very big question, it's very hard. No, it's not. You have 10 pairs. You want to get the A plus B plus C plus D plus E plus F plus G. Now, they have 7 pairs. No? So, that's been 180. This straight line is called 180 degrees. If you have any hard question, no one can. If you have this line, that's been uh, 180. You want to conclude that they have A and they have 52. 180 subtract 52, they are coming A value. So, uh, that's not very uh, hard, that's very easy, the angles related to the straight lines. You have a lot of pairs, uh, don't uh, think so about that. You want to conclude the, what the value that given in the A, B, C, D, E and you want to get that pairs all add and get the uh, value of the G O F that given in the questions okay so now let's see move for the the next part okay now they have a theorem now they have a theorem on your textbook 
the page number 98. The sum of the adjacent angles formed by a straight line meeting another straight line is two right angles. The sum of adjacent angles formed by a straight line meeting another straight line. Ah. The straight line being 180 degrees meeting another straight line. Also you can count this. This. Okay. These all are all 180 degrees. That's the theorem that I explained the past. Okay. Now let's see. Uh, move to the some uh, questions. Okay. Now you have like this and you have two pairs. And now this is C. 50 degrees. Now we want to firstly go into the uh, EC and then comes to hardest, hardest, hardest one and get the exam calculations, exam questions very easy. Okay, so now find C. Now you have a question, find C. It's very easy, you know. This line is called 180 degrees. This line is called 180 degrees. That means now you have two pairs now. One, two angles you have. That means C plus 50. Now C, the C pair, 50 pair. C plus 50 equal 180. You can write the, uh, the reason straight line. You want to write this. You want to write the reason. The any other can uh, write 180 degrees. Now no reason. What's 180 degrees? Now you want to write the reason. Okay. Mainly you want to write the reason. That 180 degrees. In brackets you want to write straight line. That's the main point of you uh, answering the questions of the angles. You want to keep the straight line. The 180 degrees uh, questions, you want to write 180 straight line. Uh, if you comes 180 meter triangle, you want to write sum of the angles of the triangle. You are comes like this triangle. You know triangle is 180 degrees, not the triangle. 60, 60, 60, 180. Now you write uh, this A, B, C, no? A plus B plus C equal 180. Now, uh, any other can answer 180. No reason. You want to write sum of the angles of triangle. You want to write the reason in there. Okay, so let's see. Move for the questions that... We are talking about, okay, now C plus 50 means 180, okay. Now that means C plus 50 means you want to, okay. Now you want to do, okay, now uh, C plus 50, 180, write the reason straight line, now finish. No, you want to do the job, find C, find C means find the value of C, okay. Now they ask me find the value of C of this straight line. No, find the value of C. Now uh, some papers ask me find C only. Now uh, C plus 50 means 180. No, now you want to find the C. That's mean you want to subtract 180 minus 50. That's mean you want to subtract 50 from 180. So you subtract that. 180 subtract 50. This is extra one. So we cut in that. Now you remain in there C only. So C means 180 subtract 50 means 130. Ah, this is the answer. Okay. If you think this is wrong, let's find 130. 130 plus 50 means 180. Very easy. Okay. Let's see move for the next uh, question. Now you have a question like this. Okay. Now you have a question like this. 
you will have a question like this and this is PQ line RS O and this is A this is A this is AB are you ready? okay now you want to find the find A find A you want to find the A value okay now we want to find the A value first. Okay. That's mean now we want to write the same way. A plus A plus 80 equal 180 straight line. Okay. A plus A plus 80 means 180 the straight line. Okay. Now. Now somebody thinks what? A plus A plus 80. Yeah, okay, now they have all elements A. A plus A, 80, 180 straight line. Finish. No, no. A plus A means what? A plus A. Now, 1 plus 1 means 2, no? So, A plus A means, you know, in the algebraic expressions, A plus A means 2A. A plus A plus A means 3A. So, that's mean 2A. Now, plus 80 means 180. Now again, we don't want to write the reason at the last one. So you want to first divide the straight line. And next uh, steps you don't want to write. If you want to write, you can. Now 2a means you want to subtract both sides by 80. Subtract both sides by 80. You want to. And now cut. Now 2a means 100. Oh no, please. We get the answer. No wrong. You asking find A only. Not 2A. Now you want to divide both sides by what? To get the find value of A. 2. 2. That's been cut this. And now A means 50 degrees. A means 50 degrees. So they are 50. They are 50. 180. 180. Okay, so now uh, you are asking about this. Now let's see more about this, like this question. Okay. Hmm. You have like this. Okay. Now this is 2a. This is now this is 3a. This is 2a. And this is a. Find a. Now what's the question? Find a. The some students are thinking, hmm, what's this, what's this? We can find, write this, 3a plus 2a plus a means 180, that's mean the straight line now. Firstly, you want to write this. Okay, now 3a plus 2a means what? 5a, 5a plus a, 6a. So, 6a equal 180. Okay, so you want to find the 1a. That's been you want to subtract both sides by the 6. So now what's been? a means 30. Now this is uh, row number 1. And now you have the row number 2. What's that? Find 2a. And the third uh, row number is find 3a. Very easy now. Now you find the 1a means 30 now. So a means 30. So 2a means 30 times 2. That's been 2a time means 60 degrees. And 3a finding a equals 30. 
3a means 30 times 3. That means 3a means 90. Okay. Next we move for the next part of the lesson. Ah, another theorem they have in the textbook, the page number 99, you can watch in the mathematics part on the grade 9. The sum of the magnitudes of the angle on a straight line is 180, I said it. So, now we have the exercise 8.1. Now, I am doing, uh, in the next video, we will be doing. So, next, we will find the vertically opposite angle. Okay. Now you know the vertically opposite angles. Okay, so let's see. You know the vertically opposite angles. This, this means A, B, C, D, O. This size, this size. Now as we you can write the pairs. A, O, B equals to C O B and A O C equals to D O B. These are the vertical angles. And now this is 90 and this is 90. This is 70 and this is 70. Okay, so now let's see move for the vertical angles theorem. The vertically opposite angles formed by the intersection of two straight lines are equal. That's been the two intersection of this called intersection. The two angles that's been this 50 and this 50. They are equal. This 50 means this side also 50. The two intersections is called the vertically angles. That's the theorem of the vertically opposite angles. So now next we uh, move to the end example. Now uh, what's this? And figure. Now you want to find the at first with the row of number find the value of A O C. Uh, find the value of A O C. That means this angle. This angle is the A O C. And now you want to find at firstly what's the pair of vertically opposite angles of the AOC. That's mean AOC equals and a pair. Now what's AOC? Ah, this intersection DOB. That's the intersection. And now so first of all we want to find the DOB. Now DOB. And now they have a straight path. That's been 180 V. And about it, so that's mean a plus 57 plus 43 degrees equal 180 degrees straight line. And now, so that's mean a plus 57 plus 43 means 100, 180 degrees, and now means. A 180 subtract 100. So A means 80 degrees. That's been this one is 80 and the opposite is 80. So that's mean AOC 80 degrees. Okay. So now we have exercise 8.2. I am doing in a uh, next video. So uh, let's see move for the next part. The corresponding angles, alternate angles and aligned angles. Oh, the new. What are they? Corresponding, alternate, aligned. Oh, very easy. Okay, now in the grade 9, now in the uh, grade 6, 7, we learn the straight line, right angle, acute, obtuse, reflex. In a grade 8, Complementary angle, supplementary, adjacent, parallel line, vertical, opposite angles we learn. And now on the grade 9 we learn now the vertically opposite angles uh, uh, part. That's mean the axiomial part. And 
the angles related to the straight lines. And now we learn about the new angles in the grade 9. The three new angles, but corresponding angles, alternate angles, allied angles. Okay. So, okay, let's we learn. Now you have uh, like this, the figure like this. In this figure, and now firstly, uh, let's we learn about the alternate angle. Okay, now alternate angles mean this is the sign of the alternate angles. This is the sign of the alternate angles. The alternate angles location is like this. The alternate angles location is like this, uh, like this. Okay, like this, the alternate angles location. If they are have any uh, value, and this value is also same. Okay. If the alternate angles mean if there are is uh, the value of 70 degrees and this one is also 70. We can say the alternate angles mean uh, with two pairs of angles meet with each other but not the intersection. But the angle of the first is the having with the opposite is also the same. That's been uh, Let's see again. Uh, a line is intersecting two or more straight lines is known as transversal. Uh, let's see, uh, talking about in the next one, the corresponding angles they have. Now the alternate angles. The angles should be opposite sides of the transversal. This is a transversal, they are opposite sides have. This one and this one. This is the transversal. This line is called with the two opposite. This is the line called transversal. And these two lines that are drawn like this. And this angle is same to the this angle. This angle same to the this. This angle same to the this. This angle same to the this. Okay. Now alternate angles have the next one. The line segment of the transversal which lies between two straight angles would be the common norm of the two angles. This is the common norm. The transversal, this is the common norm and they, their angles all are same. Okay, that's are the alternate angles. Okay, now first of all, we want to learn about the corresponding angles and the transversal. What is the transversal line and the corresponding angles. Okay, now let's see. First of all, we want to find the transversal line. What is the transversal? Okay, now we have like this figure. Okay, and now we call this one A1, B1, C1, D1, A2, B2, C2, D2 angles. Okay, now this one is called A, B, C, D and E, F lines. Okay, and this one, this, their vertex called uh, O, their vertex called R. Okay, now a line intersecting two or more. A line intersecting two or more angles is called transverse. Now there are two or more. No? There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight angles are intersecting in a one point. That means this thing is called transversal line. Okay, this one is called transversal. Okay. First of all, we want to find what are the corresponding angles. Okay. Now let's we find the corresponding angles. Corresponding angles. The both angles should be same. Okay. Now you have the both, uh, corresponding angles mean this. Like this. 
okay these are called the corresponding angles uh, if you asking about uh, this one is 80 okay uh, this one is 80 this one is 80 this one is 80 degrees okay now find a find a find a find a you want to find the intersecting this one is intersecting to this one this angle intersecting to this angle this angle intersecting to this angle and this angle intersecting to this angle okay so that's mean they both have the same value that's mean this 80 and this also 80 80 this also 80 this also 80 these are called the corresponding angles now both angles would be in the same direction okay no any other directions that have in the corresponding angles only one only same direction that corresponding angles go and the same values that intersecting to each other and same values that have in the both sides and now uh, let's see move out the with the respect to the two straight line two straight line and one with the transversal two intersection angles have in this straight line the transversal and this angle is 80 and this uh, intersection one is also 80 and as we get this one is 90 and this one is also 90 this one is 100 this one is also 100 the intersecting angles come into same uh, value okay now uh, let's see move for the uh, alternate angles also we learn now let's see move for the next part align the angles Okay, align the angles. Now you know corresponding means this one is A and this one is also A. So A equals A. A means 80. So both sides are now alternate angles. This one is 70 and this one is also 70. Now is this A, A, A equals A. 70 equals 70. And now these two we know no? so you want to find the right angles what are the right angles the right angles coming with this yes right angles coming with this the u shape now what's the problem in there now these are the corresponding and this is alternate and these are allied angles. Okay. Now let's see move to the uh, textbook. The page number 107. Okay. The two straight lines are intersected by a transversal. Okay. Now this is the one. This pair is 180. Okay. This pair is 180. This pair is 180. Okay, this pair is 180. This pair is also 180. This pair is also 180. What's the difference of these? Let's see, calculate. Okay. Now, you all you have to know. What are these aligned angles? Let's see, move about. Now, uh, Light angles mean. Let's see move for the textbook. In the figures, the two pairs of angles are available. Pairs of the right angles like this. This is A, this is B. Now A plus B equal 180. This is the main equation. Okay. From the light angles, you want to know this is the equation A plus B equal 180. Okay. Now you have this C D. CD equal 180. Don't think about the algebraic expressions. Algebraic expressions uh, coming with the same values. Not the same values. Uh, coming with the C plus D or E plus F or G plus H or I plus J. A, A plus L. Uh, that comes with the different one. So you want to know the allied angles. This U shape. This U shape. This U shape. Once the two angles of there are 180. You want to know about that first thing. Okay. The light angles, the main one is this, this figure. This open figure with like a U shape is 180 degrees. That's the light angles. No other reasons. Okay. 
No wonder he says, okay, let's see her doing some uh, exercise. Find B. Find A. Find A. Okay, let's find. Let's find. Let's find. Now, uh, first of all, find B. Now, we say no, this angle is same to this because they intersection. So, that's mean B equal 100. Find A. This intersection to this intersection same. So, A equal 120. Find A. Now, you know this figure is 180. The light angle's main one is this figure is 180. So, A plus 75 is 180. So, A means 180 subtract 75. So, A means 105 degrees. Okay. A means 105 degrees. Very easy, no? Very easy. So, uh, okay, now uh, exercise 8.3, I am doing in, I will doing in the next video, the exercise 8.3 and they are have the exercises that related to this, I like corresponding and alternate. Okay, what's the last one? Okay, now we move into the last part of the, this lesson. What's the angles related to the straight lines and parallel lines, the last, uh, the last one angles related to the parallel lines that's the last topic we talking in this eighth lesson on the grade 9 uh, that related to the first term of your syllabus the angles related to the parallel lines so this is very easy uh, topic uh, this is uh, going with the allied angles vertically opposite angles and we say in the parallel lines. Now you have a figure like this. Okay. And this one. We call the parallel. No? Okay. Uh, and now. We have there 120. And there are 55. Okay. And the. Okay, now we get 45. And this A. Find A. Very easy, no? First of all, we want to find A plus 45. We want to get in that brackets. Because they are have two angles. No, now they are A, B, C, D. And this is E. Okay, E. And now, first of all, we want to find this. And are, okay, now we get uh, A plus 45. This means in the brackets plus 120 equals. This is a allied angle. That means 180. You want to write the reason in there. The alternate angles, corresponding angles, all are you want to write what's the reason. They are allied angles. So now A plus 45. Uh, that's when we want to find the backers and that's been equal 180 you want to subtract from the 120 first and now a plus 45 means 60 degrees so that's been again you want to subtract 60 minus 45 that's mean a means 15 degrees a means 15 degrees that's mean this one 15 45 plus 50, this uh, wall angle is 60 degrees, so 120 plus 60, this angle we know as a light angle, 180, correct. This is the answer, A equal 15 degrees. Okay, so that's the lesson that we talking about at the, uh, near to the one hour. This uh, angle, that's the 8th lesson of your grade 9. The angles related to the straight lines and parallel lines, the grade 9. The 
eight lesson. Uh, then I have only some theorems and theories. You want to keep it up your mind. Uh, if you miss up some uh, type, you can uh, pause the video and uh, you can go in backwards and check that. Uh, you can remind that and the review exercise, exercise 8.1, 8.2, 8.3 and 8.4 I am doing in the next uh, videos. I am doing one by one uh, with the videos. Uh, I promise I do. Okay, so have a nice day by this is the date 9, 8th lesson. The angle related to the straight lines and parallel lines. So have a nice day by so grade 9 students. If you want to join this channel, uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, like to this video and comment so, so you can uh, leave your profession with the comment uh, how about what you learned in this video uh, so thank you for all that uh, stay with us so have a nice day bye if you want to share this video please share to your friends and uh, get some help and help to community this uh, channel so have a nice day Bye.